everyone, sharing how to change any desk ID every time. Sharing this I can't find anything helpful online. Haha. <laughs> First we need to activate guest mode on user settings. Just go to system preferences, then users and groups. If it has not been activated yet, just unlock the security first. You will be asked to enter your password so make it sure to have it ready. After that, just click the first checkbox to activate guest login. After doing this, this will activate the switch profile that will show on the menu bar. Lock the security back by the way. Now head to the menu bar and find that switch user icon as shown on the screen. Just click the guest user icon to switch to guest mode. Now we just need to launch AnyDesk app using Spotlight Search. This is the first ID we get on our first attempt. Now let's try another one by logging out on guest mode. Take note that logging out guest mode will erase all your settings and file. So make it sure to back up. Let's click guest mode again to try another ID. Let's spotlight search any desk again. As you can see, it's now different from the first one. Now let's try to go back to the main user profile, if it will give us the same results. Let's spotlight search any desk. This has been my AnyDesk it on my main profile. Even if I uninstall the app, it will still give me the same ID. Now let's go back to guest mode to get another AnyDesk ID. Let's spotlight search any desk again. As you can see it has been a while and the ID is still zero. In case you have this issue, just log out guest mode and just log back in again. On this one, I even tried to check the settings and all but it did not make any difference. LOL. I then tried to quit the app and still the same. I still got the zero as the ID. And even tried for the last time but still the same. Haha. <laughs> so just log out on guest mode and log back in immediately. Then spotlight search any desk again. And finally, we get our new AnyDesk ID. I'm not sure how you will use it for. But I guess if you will have someone access your PC remotely temporarily, this is a good option. Or if you don't want the hassle of doing this, I heard you can get this on premium. That way you don't have to switch users every time and has more options on the same profile. So that's it for today. Hopefully you found this helpful. Until next time. See you.